This episode is made possible by the generous support of my patrons at patreon.com slash Kev and by viewers like you. Thanks! Hey, Kevin, how does your little freedom thing work whenever it comes to education? Oh, hey, rude Kevin. Look, um, I'm not trying to be rude. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, you just kind of caught me at a bad time. No, it's fine. I know you don't have a very open mind because you're afraid to hear my super duper original idea because you're afraid that it might conflict with what the lamestream media has told you to think because you're a sheep. Bah. 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 No, 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 that's that's not it at all. I want to hear what you came up with. I'm sure that it's really original and great. I just, I gotta get to the third part of my economic trilogy or else people are gonna get upset. It's like a half a week late already. No, uh, here, ho Just click this link and then you'll understand everything that I'm trying to say. Fine. I believe our success isn't measured by how much the wealthiest Americans have, but by how many young people go to college without drowning in debt? See? So you think education isn't valuable? What? No! I mean, yes! I, I mean, uh, what I'm trying to say is that education is the most valuable thing ever. But isn't college just a way that you can improve yourself and make yourself more valuable so that you can get a better job and make more money? See, uh, see, that's exactly the problem with the country these days. You think that money is the most important commodity. It's not. It's education. In an economy, then. Yes. Okay, I, I think I'm starting to get it. So money isn't valuable and education is valuable. Exactly. And then how did teachers come into play in all of this? They are the most valuable members of society. Interesting, because it sounded to me like you were saying that they shouldn't get paid at all. What? No, I'm saying that they should get paid more than anybody else. But paid with what? More education? No, don't be stupid, Kevin. With money. Okay, so your value is determined by how much education you have, but the teacher's value is determined by how much money they can make. I wouldn't exactly put it like that. Wouldn't the value of a teacher be better measured by how much money their students made after they went through their course? <laughs> You, you just don't understand because you're not educated enough. My teacher explains it way better. Yes, I guess I need to spend a little more time in an economics class that teaches me that the only people within an economy that should have money are the people teaching the class. Kevin's, Kevin's Economic, economic trilogy, 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 part three, three college, college, part, part one. one. Look, the fact of the matter is we all want money and we all want more of it. And if you don't, that's perfectly fine. That's actually really easy to do. But we live in a world with an entire school system that isn't being honest with you about what it takes to get there. Why would they do this? Well, it could be that if they emphasize that the value of education is education, then it might still retain its value. Because of course, if the value of education was wrapped up in the ability to equip you for the real world, you might stop buying it. And you might be asking yourself, why would they ignore teaching people about the real world? Well, perhaps it's because colleges, despite what they tell you, are businesses. Even public schools are filled with teachers who are people. And people, as we know from previous episodes, are businesses in and of themselves. And businesses care about making more money. And that's fine. You know why? Because it creates competition and drives prices down. But Kevin, if that's true, then why is the cost of college so high? And it just keeps going up higher and higher. I think college is way too expensive. Uh, you say that with your mouth, but you don't say it with your wallet. Because people keep going to college even though they are also complaining about how expensive it is. Demand hasn't changed. So as long as the same amount of people keep paying the same amount of money to go to college, then colleges have no reason to lower their price. Excuse me, Kevin, but I didn't actually pay for my education because I got plenty of scholarships and then I got student loans, which I can barely even pay off now, which is really dumb and I shouldn't have to do that just to get an education. Yes, but the teachers and the school administration are getting paid from somebody. If they continue to overcharge and they continue to be rewarded for overcharging, then what motivation do they have to lower their price? Fact of the matter is people keep getting ripped off by colleges because they are uneducated and unprepared for making the decision about whether they should or shouldn't go to college or how much they should pay for college before they go to college. Fortunately, I make YouTube videos. And today, I'm going to educate you before you make a terrible mistake and go to college. Let's talk about student loans. So whenever people start a business or buy a house, they often will need to take out a loan, a business loan or a 
mortgage. Before they can do this though, they have to go through a pretty intense screening process. Because lenders, like banks, aren't giving out money out of the goodness of their heart, they're doing it because they want to make money. They're a business. Well, it's a huge risk if the person who you are letting borrow the money is later unable to pay them back. So like with a business loan, banks want to make sure that the business that you're starting is actually going to make money. They don't want you making a huge mistake. Not because they care about you, but because they care about their money. But as a byproduct, they save you from yourself and that walrus cuddling business you wanted to start in the middle of Kansas. But in the good old US of A, we believe that education is so important, not quality education, just education. We believe that this type of screening process shouldn't be necessary. So the United States government backs most student loans. If this person doesn't pay their student loan, the taxpayers will do it for them. Oh, great, Kevin. Now you've gone too far. You mean to tell me that you don't want to make it easier for people to get student loans for an education? As much as you want to paint me as the bad guy for saying all of this, unfortunately, easy to get student loans make it easier to go to college and get a useless degree, making many students feel like they spent a lot of money on a useless education, and they did. If the person giving out the student loan was taking more of a risk, they would make sure that the student wasn't trying to get the loan for a stupid degree. Unfortunately, that's not the world that we live in, and so the person actually getting the loan needs to start thinking about being responsible for themselves. But how? Fortunately, I'm gonna tell you all about that next time when I bring you part two of part three of Kevin's Economic Trilogy. <laughs>